I don't know if you saw the latest in the Sandy Hook um, uh, story, but the latest in the Sandy Hook story is fascinating to me. Now in the San- the, the latest in the Sandy Hook story is, well, you know what? Uh, it looks like he um, looks like he had another influence. It's like he might have had slightly a different um, reason other than, I just want to kill a bunch of people um, because I got mommy's gun. Pat sent me a story yesterday that is absolutely phenomenal to me. And it's phenomenal to me because nobody is covering it. What did the police say that Adam Lanza was really doing? Uh, He was living out in real life the online video game character and persona that he had created and so he he took the <clears throat> character that he had created and, and was playing in video games and decided to act that out in real life and so what he decided to do was as we've talked about we've talked about this very thing Stu's mentioned it many times that uh they go to the, the point of least resistance that's exactly what police say he did he went to a he picked uh, an elementary school because he knew that they wouldn't have guns there, that he knew that they wouldn't have uh, armed security there. And so he could kill as many people as he possibly could and not get killed himself. OK, so here's here's what the Daily News is reporting. Um, the unnamed cops description of um, of what was going on. They don't believe that this was just a spreadsheet. The cops don't. They just don't believe this was a spreadsheet that they found. Because what they found was a like a seven-foot-long sheet yeah. of paper with every uh, atrocity that's been committed in America in a long time, like 500 killings, and he had documented it all. And they needed It was the names printer. and the number of yeah. people killed and the weapons that were used. Even the precise make and model of the weapons. It had taken him years. It was, they say, it was more of a doctoral thesis than anything else. You have it? So it's a sheet, 500 people, the names and number of people killed, and the weapons that were used. Now, they don't believe this was just a spreadsheet. They believe this was a score sheet. This was the work of a video gamer, and this was his intent, to put his own name at the top of that list. They believe he picked the elementary school. This is a police. Believe he picked the elementary school because he felt it was a point of least resistance where he could rack up the greatest number of kills. That's why. Four points. This is, yeah, this is the, mm-hmm. what the, the uh, Connecticut police. And listen to what, he, what he's talking about with points. They believe that Lanza believed that it was points that he was after. Not just the kills, but the easiest points. It's why he didn't want to be killed by law enforcement. In the code of a gamer... Even a deranged gamer like this guy, if somebody else kills you, they get your points. That's why he killed himself, because he had to score the points, not the police. They have pictures of him from two years ago. With, he's all strapped up with weapons, posing with a pistol to his head. The thing the Connecticut police are saying now, the thing you need to understand is he laid this out years before. And it all is from being murder obsessed because of video games. Now, where is the president on this? They're saying now that what what he was hearing in his head was coming from the video games. Kill, 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 kill. This is exactly what we said was happening from day one. Day one, I called Pat, and we were on vacation. I called him up, and I said, it's video games. I'm telling you, it's video games. We're in deep, deep trouble with video games. I walked out of my house this morning after reading this report um, last night, and I was thinking about my kids. And I was thinking, you know, here comes, here's, here's somebody who you have no idea. You have no idea the evil that might be living in your house might be in your children right now because you have dismissed, I have dismissed, any of us have dismissed, the the violent video games. Last night I was doing the final edit of um, of Control, the new book. This book is 180 pages. We're, we're releasing it in softcover. We've had every expert we could possibly find on, um, on killing, on guns, 
we have done now, what, three months of research. We just put the final fact in it last night. 180 pages, over 500 footnotes. And it is stunning, the truth behind gun control. It is stunning what you see on, on, the, on, the, on the sheer facts of which is more dangerous. They're telling us now that guns... The more guns we have, the more dangerous things become. Not true. Not true. We've cut the murder by guns in half. When you see the list, the full-page list of all of the studies that have been done that says um, uh, violence in movies and violence in video games has a direct correlation to murder and violence with children. The list is stunning. And it's not, you know, it's not like, ah, you know, Joe's conservative college. It's the American Medical Association. Now, you're not going all Bloomberg on my video games, are you? You're not going to be here. No, I'm not. You're not going to be coming to my house. No, I'm not coming to your house and confiscating. I'm not telling anybody not to make them. I'm not doing anything. I'm telling you, get away from them. It do not allow them in your house with your kids because we think they're harmless because, quite honestly, you didn't, but Pat and I grew up in Pong. There's a big difference between Pong and what, like, Adam Lanza is getting into. And we explain the ratings in the book. I mean, the, this, the video game thing is really only uh, not even a quarter of this book. It's, it's 180 pages. I, I don't even know. It's, it's 20 pages, maybe, of the video games in Hollywood. Um, but it, but it is so easy to make this case. And the problem is that we grew up with one thing and most people don't even understand the ratings system on these video games. They just think that it's, oh, it's this or that. Pat, what were we watching just the other day? Uh, something that it's, it's, um, it's, you know, it's like an American, uh, it's the Patriot or what was that uh, video game that we saw on your, computer? oh, that was Assassin's Creed. Assassin's oh, yeah, Creed. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people are saying Assassin's Creed, you know, oh, it's okay. Mm-mm. No. No. no, no, it's not. No, it's not. And you will see that they take they, sex and violence and tie them right them. together. Mm-hmm. And it is it is something that is is uh, is happening and about to happen even much, much worse. You don't you think that, well, I've got these guns and I've got them locked up and my kids are fine. And my kids know the difference. You know what? Adam Lanza's mom had no idea she was going to come in or he was going to come in and kill. Adam Lanza's mom had no idea that he was making a list, a huge list of the top killers and massacres in the United States. And that he was trying to put himself, he saw life as a game. Warning, I just wanted to feel something. That's what he said. I just want to feel something. He's playing a game. And how many of us think that life is a game? So, we are breeding a, a, an underbelly here that nobody wants to look at. And we're not saying that all video games or, you know, um, or, or any video game will make all kids evil. Nobody's saying that. And I'm not saying also that you need to go um, shut them down or anything else. You're an adult. I believe in maximum liberty maximum personal responsibility. Your fault. You want to eat cupcakes, man? Eat all the cupcakes you want, but I'm not paying for your health care. You want to watch video games? You watch video games. But it's your ass. And I'm not going to take... I'm, I'm not taking responsibility. And what you need to do is expect people to behave like adults. Stop nannying them. When they have to pay for their own mistakes, and yes, society's going to have to pay for some mistakes. Yes, that's going to happen. But if we're a well-armed society, like we used to be in the 1800s and the 1700s, um, you, can, you can take Adam Lanza out before he takes out a whole bunch of, of children. Because somebody will be there that's responsible with a gun.